Hey, I'm Johnny Littlefield, and a lot of you may know me from ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition, where we build a house for a deserving family each week. And I'm at Right Brain Books, where children author their own books and find their voice. And I'm with Patrick from Shazibo, and he's going to tell us exactly why we're here today. Yeah, we're here today to put attachment points in and install shade sails. And shade sails provide shade. They're, they're kind of a new thing from Australia. A shade sail is perfect to make this area more comfortable, probably 20 degrees cooler. And the fact that it's a good cause, uh, we just had to be a part of it. So I brought my whole crew and we're going to whip these things out in about three hours. And when we're done, it's going to be a beautiful shade sail, cool deck and I can't wait to see the kids' faces. Yeah, because one of the facets of Right Brain Books is Right Brain Gives, and it's gonna be an after-school program where underprivileged schools, uh, teachers, they can have classes, and obviously, we're in Los Angeles, and it's sunny all the time, and the kids need to be in the shade, so thank you, Patrick, for being here. Thank you for including us. Right on, My pleasure. So, earlier this week, we found the, uh, the places where we're going to attach these points for the sails. Right. And that's when we did the measuring and whatnot. We designed these brackets. Exactly. Okay. So, what's next in this? What's the next step? The next step is once these are installed, this will be firmly planted on the garage and it'll be very strong. Right. The shade sail will be on this part of the turnbuckle and we'll take this, this part and we're just going to attach it to the corner. This is like sailboat hardware. It's exactly like sailboat hardware. It's uh, stainless steel, so it's not going to rust. Right. That will pull the shade sail tight. You can, you know, tighten it you up. You can adjust it and get all the wrinkles out and everything. And exactly. Awesome. This is also to take down the shade sail. You loosen it up if you ever had to take it down for any reason. Okay, great. This guy, Johnny Littlefield, he reached out to Patrick at Shazibo, and he told them about Right Brain Gives. And then he sent them some videos, and Patrick saw them. He watched our videos. I think he probably cried, and uh, and he agreed to donate these shades. And we are I, eternally yeah, really grateful. grateful. And I don't I don't think my insurance policy covers heat stroke. Oh! You designed this specifically for us, and I'm really grateful. With your help. I didn't do anything but say make it orange. Being in Southern California, we have to worry about the Santa Ana winds. Now, how are the sails you know, the in things, those types of conditions? The thing that I tell people to keep in mind is it's not days like today. These are perfect Southern California days, right? right. Today that we're fine. It's that 10 year storm where there's 40, 50 mile an hour winds. That's what you have to think of. So when you put it up, you want to plan on like 2,000 pounds pulling on it. So as you size up your house or your attachment points uh, or your, consult with your contractor, imagine 2,000 pounds pulling on it, and if you feel comfortable with that, then you're golden. So I can actually repel down this now. So right now we're just uh, drilling the holes for the through bolts. So we're gonna sandwich, sandwich those wooden posts with the steel, the powder coated steel, plus this adds a nice touch. Right. You know, this, you could think that an architect spent a couple days figuring out that these poles should be white, so. In actuality, it took me 10 minutes. See? We did have the steel posts uh, powder coated mm -hmm. for, you know, for weather purposes. They don't rust out on us. So we've got our four by sixes and they're pitched at an angle. So when we, why, why the pitching? You know, the, the biggest reason is so that if you put a post in perfectly plumb, and if it tips in even just a little bit, your eye will catch that and something will look wrong. So the first reason to tip it out is to prevent that and it is stronger. Yeah. Now, when we put the steel here, all the steel is for is for more rigidity. Correct. Okay. Yep. Reinforce the four by six, and it looks cool. All right, so now the next thing we do is Finish drill the through hole. there. Johnny Littlefield built this deck for Right Brain about two months ago. And I have never been out here for more than five minutes because it's so bloody hot. But now with Shazibo, I'm going to be out here all the time. I don't think much work is going to get done inside, frankly.
view from up here is spectacular. You can see the Hollywood sign. I want to, where? Right over there. Shazibo. Do my boobs look good in the shirt? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable.